Black mold, rats, cockroaches, or electrical hazards are just a few of the things you don't want to find in your home. But that is exactly what CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss uncovered in Denver's taxpayer subsidized apartments. And this is not just a one off. No, it's not. Uh, and despite these unsafe conditions, these apartments continue to pass inspections. And we found apartments with the same health and safety violations year after year. It's very frustrating. That's how Tanya Rocco described living at these apartments in South Denver last year. She remembers colonies of tiny bugs forming masses in the walls of her bathroom. But in the middle of the night, if you went in there, they would scatter. I was like, oh my God, this is gross. The Cherry Creek Greens failed its U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, inspection the last two years in a row. Receiving a score of 35 out of 100 points last year with more than 61 health and safety deficiencies, including a roach infestation, broken smoke detectors, and hazardous mold growth. Yet there were no fines, no citations. And it's still up and running, offering housing to both Section 8 qualifiers and families paying full market price. I remember that one night I screamed in the bathroom because it the bugs were crawling yeah, everywhere. Yeah, like, like Rocco and her boyfriend, who moved out last spring because of the unsanitary conditions. The Cherry Creek Greens is just one of more than 100 complexes in the city that offers multifamily Section 8 housing. We obtained inspection reports for the 49 lowest scoring complexes. Over the last five years, inspectors found 25 complexes had electrical hazards, 17 complexes had toxic mold, 11 had a pest infestation, and 13 had windows that wouldn't lock. When complexes receive bad marks, they're only required to submit proof the problems have been fixed. There's no follow up inspection until at least a year later. And despite repeated deficiencies, the complexes continue to receive taxpayer money to house low income families. These are also concerns in affordable housing, which uses the same inspection standards. Apartments like the Garden Court at Yale Station, which received 1.1 million in public tax credits before it opened in 2016. But one resident who asked to keep her identity concealed and only be called Sophia for fear of retaliation says toxic mold growing in the building turned her life upside down. Well, this is what's been going on here. As someone allergic to mold, Sophia tells me she suffered health impacts after being exposed to this mold she recorded in her apartment in 2018. When I'm exposed to these toxins, my brain does swell and it causes um, cognition issues, memory issues. The complex moved her to a different unit, but Sophia says she had the air tested in her new unit and mold was still detected. Living on a tight income, Sophia says she can't move and her symptoms continue to persist. So then one day I couldn't remember my name. I just I didn't know who I was. As a result of our reporting, Garden Court tells me it will be testing Sophia's unit for mold, as well as this entire building and all of the buildings it owns around the city. HUD declined an on-camera interview, but wrote it is, quote, committed to the health and safety of residents, and it's undergoing a wholesale re-examination of its inspection policy and protocols. In a Government Accountability Office report released last year, HUD agreed with the office that its inspections have weaknesses and blamed inadequate resources as a reason why. Residents hope HUD will enforce stricter standards moving forward. Somebody needs to step in well within the state system and just say this isn't okay and to take notice to take the time. And I've reached down to the Cherry Creek Greens for comment, and so far I've not heard back. We've also published the inspection reports of some of the lowest scoring complexes in the city. If you'd like to search for your complexes report, just find this story on our website, cbsdenver.com. And what stood out to me is no follow-up inspection for a year. Yes, wow, yes, absolutely. All right, thanks, Katie.